Tropical Storm at Cristobal, a pretty messy looking storm system on satellite imagery here. The bulk of the convection well towards the east of the center. Despite the center expected to come on shore in Louisiana overnight Saturday heading into Sunday, uh, really Florida is going to be getting the biggest impact from this. So right now it is the evening of the 6th of June 2020. It is Saturday here in the eastern U.S. and this storm, well... If for all intents and purposes, really, it's all about the bulk of the convection here well towards the north and east. The low-level center actually located in here, but what we have been seeing over the last few days, just this dry air wrapping in, plenty of vertical wind shear aloft, and that has been allowing storm to become rather lopsided. In fact, this is water vapor imagery. You can just see all of this dry air wrapping into that low level center here. The bulk of the convection flaring off towards the north and east. And actually take a look at this. This is the upper level winds, uh, wind shear, I should say. You see a plenty of shear just towards the north and east. That's the upper level winds via satellite. Let's pull the shear off here. And you see the strongest winds, about 50 to some areas upwards of 80 to 90 knots aloft. And just on the western side, though, you kind to have those low level winds wrapping into this so what this is telling me is that uh really kind of like when you blow on a candle and the flame kind of tips towards the side that's kind of what's happening here with this storm system and why this spite is sitting over pretty warm sea surface temperatures is just not wrapping up in that low level center now with that said this is a gyre type of system see this a lot in the western pacific when it gets wrapped up with the monsoon uh, the bulk of the highest winds is away from that center of circulation and even the chance of storm surge because do remember that with this type of system you have those winds that are going to be coming in the south and uh, this is actually a pretty good graphic it's experimental graphic from the national hurricane center i wish more agencies would do something like this and it just kind of shows you where the highest chance of storm surge of course local areas may differ from this but you have those strongest winds where the bulk of those uh that really onshore flow is coming here from ocean springs to eastern areas of louisiana Louisiana. But look how this stretches all the way back there towards Tampa and along the east coast of Florida because of that long fetch area. And some areas could actually see a bit of coastal flooding. Now, not the type of surge that would be catastrophic damage, but uh, coastal inlets, uh, marinas, places like that definitely could see a water level rise as this comes on shore. And this is the ECMWF. I think uh, from the different models that are handling this, the Euro's probably taking it the best over the last few days but it has been rather tricky just because that low level center has not wrapped up and when you have a really kind of out of whack low level center the models which models are only as good as the data you put into them they they are not a magical ball they are numerical products based on numerical data ingestion in that so when you have a bad low level center circulation instead of like a pinpoint eye the models tend to just kind of waver a little bit they've all been talking about where this is going to go Louisiana but where the overall system was going to interact especially as it moves towards the north they have been differing here and the euro I think has been pretty decent on it showing that bulk of the convection flaring up towards the north and east so pretty much throughout the day on Sunday especially heading into Sunday evening much of Florida the Florida Panhandle Louisiana um, Mississippi Alabama and then eventually even moving inland looking at a pretty tremendous amount of rainfall this is out through about Sunday evening I'll even loop this out ahead here to about 55 hours out so we got here to about monday afternoon look at uh, jacksonville florida actually in that area where i am two to four inches possible uh parts of louisiana mississippi uh we're, we're talking about six to seven inches uh if this model does play out may not be that high but i still think a pretty decent amount of rainfall and definitely that threat of localized flooding up and down the gulf coast possible with this even that coastal storm so see the winds are going to be high tropical storm strength type deal. Winds are sustained right now at about 50 miles per hour according to the National Hurricane Center. But really it's going to be just this broad shield of uh, rainfall and even that chance of some coastal surge with it. So yeah, hey, it's Crystal Ball. Third name storm, earliest sea name storm, by the way, in the Atlantic on record. So it could be telling of what the season's going to be like out here. Anyways, I'm posting this on my Facebook page. If you guys are curious why, uh, trying to talk more about the Atlantic storms or basically storms around the world in general. Of course, when there are typhoons on the Western Pacific, I will also talk about that as well. If you guys got questions, comments, or suggestions, let me know down in the comment box below. And as always, stay safe out there. All right.